I'm Mathieu from Ludovox and today we are at the SN Spielmesse on the Hans im Glück booth with Freddy. Hi, Freddy. Hi. So uh, you're a person, a guy from uh, the company and you're going to give us an idea of what is Majesty. Yeah, yeah Majesty is a family game for two up to four players for at the age up from uh, seven years and yeah. You, we play 12 rounds in the game. And uh, what do we try to achieve in Majesty? Uh, do we try to build a better kingdom or something? Um, we are young kings, or we want to be kings of the, uh, of the realm, and we try to get as much points or money as we can, and the player who has uh, the most money at the end of the game wins the game. Okay, so show me the money. How do we play the game? Okay, yeah, I told you we play 12 rounds and every round we can, spay, um, we can spend our meeples down here for one of these characters. The first character is for free and for the second character we have to pay one meeple from our card on the first card and take the second card. If you want the last card, we have to pay right. Um, so what happens if we collect a character that already has meeples on it? Do we take them uh, in our uh, on our card? Right. If we take a character who has meeples on it, we take the meeples back to our um, card. And if we have more meeples than five on our card, we have to give it back in the middle and get points for the meeple. So it becomes interesting taking the first ones, even though they are not very good at, at the start. Uh, do we push the line or do we replace things? Yeah. We take, if we take a card, we um, push the line in front and get a new card. So the, the um, expensive card is only every time the last one. So what happens when we take a card? Uh, what do the cards do? Yep. We take a card and we have um, seven different characters and seven different buildings. And for each building we have one character. So we take a character and lay it down under the, um, the building and score then the building. So we, every time, every round, we take one character and get point for this character or for this building. So I guess all of the uh, buildings and characters will have different ways of scoring. So, for example, the mill, uh, does it give you uh, two coins per uh, peasant? Per person, that's right. So if you have one person there, you get only the um, two points. If we have three persons down there, you get six points. And it triggers each time you put a person in the building, right? Right, that's right. Um, only for that building. Um, I see uh, also coins here. Is what is it? What are those coins beside the power? After the 12 rounds, we have our um, end scoring. Two different end scorings. The first one is uh, we have the different buildings, and if you have five different buildings with persons below, uh, there are 25 points. If you have each building. You have seven buildings with persons below, you get uh, 49 points. So if you uh, more different buildings, you get more points at the end scoring. Um, the second scoring is the player who has the most uh, millers get 10 points, the most brewers get 11 points and so on. And the person who has the most um, nobles at the castle gets 16 points. Um, I see eight buildings, so uh, is it like a graveyard or something? Um, it, it's not a graveyard, it's more, uh, it's more a place where wounded people are. Uh, there comes the, the wounded people, because we have a tax on the game. So if someone plays a soldier, um, he attacks every other player who can't defend. And then we take a card and lay it down um, there and at the end of the game you get minus points for each card down there. 
So that's a way of adding interaction to the game and probably uh, making it a bit, a bit more interactive than uh, one of Marc-Andre's uh, previous games like Splendor, where it's just blocking, right? Yeah, right. Um, yeah, I told you we have uh, three different actions. We have the soldier who attacks uh, the other players. We have uh, the, car, the guard here. Um, if we get an attack from another player, we can defend with the guard. So if we have uh, the same or more guards at the attacker have uh, soldiers, we defend our realm and have no wounded people. And we have like the, the witch and she heals you, right? Yeah, right. That's uh, the third um, special um, ability of the cards. If you um, take a, a, a witch, this one, um, you heal the top guard, a uh, top card, yeah, and bring it back to life in um, the, uh, the building. And then comes the scoring of the witch. Uh, do you also trigger the, uh, the scoring of the person you just resurrected? No, you only score uh, the person or the building, um, you buy the card. And I see one and two cards, uh, is it like uh, first you play with a deck of one cards, then with a deck of two cards? Yeah, that, that's correct, we have two different uh, decks, um, the, um, the, the cards are depend on the players. So if we have four players, we um, dismiss seven cards on the first deck. And then we play uh, the deck one and then deck two. In deck two are more the higher cards like the noble or um, the soldiers and more of the cards where you can choose which character you want. So is it going to come out in French and if you know when or if you can tell? Um, it will come out in French um, from Asmodee Games. Um, and it will be available on the retail in a few weeks. So I think it should be there in two or three weeks. Thank you very much, Freddy, for that overview of Majesty. And see you on Nudebox. Bye-bye.